We're going to move on. Um, let me just show you this headline in The Guardian. Uh, we're talking here about MPs backing plans for abortion clinic buffer zones, they are called, in England and Wales. It's an amendment to a public order bill which would make harassment of women by protesters a criminal offence. Earlier this month, MPs voted in favour of these nationwide buffer zones um, and protesters found guilty of breaching 150 metre buffer zones around clinics would face up to six months in jail. The public order bill is now in the House of Lords. Maria, you voted against these buffer zones. Why? We just think that the measures aren't proportionate to, to the issue at hand. There are already public sector protection orders that are in place that are being used around abortion clinics right now, uh, particularly in, in places in London, that are working uh, pretty well. And I just think if someone, you know, 150 metres is quite a large area around an abortion clinic. And, you know, there's, there's the possibility of someone going up to a woman who may be upset or distressed, offering them, uh, you know, some comfort that could then be uh, accused of harassment um, and face six months in jail. So I think we need to look at what was actually proposed in the legislation rather than are you for or against uh, buffer zones uh, being a black and white uh, argument. Why? There, there is already legislation in place which allows the public uh, space protection orders to be put in place and they are being used. But you voted specifically against these buffer zones that would stop people harassing people going into well, abortion clinics. For me clinics. The, the definition of uh, you know what's what's harassment um, is you know is, is open to uh, to interpretation that's my concern that someone who's going up to maybe comfort someone who's upset or distressed could be accused of harassment and could face six months in jail. Rachel? I find it quite disturbing that the Minister for Women uh, voted in favour of the Police Crime and Sentencing Bill, which I didn't imposed... actually. Did you not? I abstained on you, the third you tweeted, reading. You tweeted in support of it. Which... Well, I abstained on third reading, so perhaps you need to check how I did actually vote. I apologise, but you did tweet in, like, in support of it. And this is a government that wants to impose very strict uh, protesting rules on protests that somebody might oppose to because they are too noisy or too inconvenient. Mm. Yet it's <clears> a <throat> moment when women are trying to uh, access vital health care and are at their most vulnerable. Mm. 150 metres is still giving people a chance to protest, a chance to make their voices heard, but not a chance to interfere with women accessing a vital medical service and I think if we're talking about balance here the balance there between people trying to access health care and people trying to make their voices heard in the vicinity but not interfering with that right is quite an important distinction to make. Yeah, so, I mean, as Emma said, this is quite a sensitive issue. And if you look at my track record of when I was a Minister for Women's Health previously, you know, I, I'm the minister that's introduced the women's health strategy, of which abortion sits in there. I was a minister when telemedicine, so women can access abortion at home, was introduced. I was a minister when Northern Ireland uh, legislation came through Westminster to, to allow abortion. And I just think just labelling someone because they vote a certain way on a certain vote as being anti-women or anti-choice, I think it's very, you know, I think, it, you know, we should be allowed to have a different view and be respected. I respect that Parliament voted to uh, allow those buffer zones. Mm -hmm. And as a minister, I will have to uphold that decision. But I am allowed on, on these life matters to have a personal uh, view without being, you know, criticised or told I can't do my job. And I think, you know, I think it's a sad day for politics if we're not allowed to have different views across the table. Rachel? I think everyone is entitled to their own views. It, the difference is that if you are in a position which is the, the role of which is to protect and help women, opposing these buffer zones sends a message, unfortunately, whether you intend it or not, that at a moment when women are facing an incredibly challenging and emotionally difficult time, at that particular mo moment, you don't feel that they deserve perhaps the protection, but that's, in other circumstances. That's not the case. I think the six months in jail is a huge sentence uh, for someone. When we've got people uh, protesting, the Just Stop Oil uh, group, who are stopping people getting to hospital, stopping ambulances uh, getting through, and literally they're offered cups of tea and coffee on, on the street. I think it's not a proportionate response.